Okay, for this assignment, you are gonna play around with a newer feature of the pattern drafting tool. So make sure you have updated to CLO 2025 or any other newer version. Um, I'm gonna give you, actually, you're gonna find your own sketches. Um, you can also use some of the ones I give you, but um, you're gonna try their new like auto pattern drafting generated tool just based off a sketch and see how it goes. Um, by now you should have used the pattern drafter tool, the parametric uh, measurements. Uh, we've done this in a prior assignment earlier in the semester, but instead of use typing in the measurements, you're gonna try this new tool, this little magic wand, the AI pattern drafter tool. Okay, so I clicked it, it's really small. Yours might've automatically been larger. This was the tank top that I actually originally submitted. Um, and it really did not draft this image, but it got us somewhere. So I'll hit generate right now and let's see if anything changes. Uh, okay, so you can see how it changed it a little bit. Um, so, I mean, it's better than nothing. Then you can go in with your pattern drafting tools and edit it to how you want, but it does look really different. It's pretty cropped. Not sure what's going on. So let's try a different image instead. So let's see, I'm gonna to go to my desktop where I took a few screenshots and let's try something else. Let's try this little sweatshirt. Um, okay, and it looks like, you know, t-shirt right now is the only one to choose. That's fine. Maybe I can type in, no, let's just do image. Okay, I'll click generate. Interesting, um, very different that for these pattern pieces. Uh, I wonder if it's because I have raglan set. I know you have set in sleeve or the other choices. It's really, it's a drop shoulder, I suppose. Let's try that. Does that change anything? Yeah, that does look better. But again, it doesn't have the all the details like the paneling and whatnot and the collar. Um, so. Anyways, I'm gonna X out and I'll go ahead and click create. And I'll just go ahead and stick it on our little 2D model there. I clicked it in place. Okay, so now it's live. It should have included sewing so we can look at our 3D view and just hit space bar. And you know, so it's something to start with. So just wanted to share this tool and wanted you guys to play around with it for a little bit.